Five years ago when we sat down and looked at what we, what we needed to do, what our students needed, um, I never would have thought we could have accomplished what we have in that period of time and that's due to the vision of our principal Jake who um, really had that knowledge and understanding and passion and that's been infectious for the staff and they've worked really hard over that period of time to get to where we are now. St Augustine's is a, you know, essentially a learning uh, institution so we're a school like every other you know, school is so it's not until you actually get inside the classrooms themselves or as we call them the cohort learning spaces uh, that you see a, a physical uh, difference. We wanted to have collaboration, problem solving, critical thinking, you know, we wanted the children to show initiative, uh, we wanted to build strong in, you know, interpersonal skills, we wanted the children to be able to stand tall, articulate uh, their learning. For that to take place there has to, we have to, then have to change the way that we deliver learning in the classrooms to meet that. So if we want them to be collaborative, we need to provide opportunities for them to, to collaborate and, 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 to, and to cooperate in, in groups. If we want them to, be, uh, uh, to have flexibility and to de develop that sort of ability to move from one thing to another, we have to provide the opportunity to do that. So the physicality of our classrooms and, and, um, and our school site has to, had to be re-looked at and think, well, how, how can we do that? and the constraints of, of every site will, will determine you know, what you do. What we have downstairs here at the moment is um, two grade levels. We have uh, year two on this side and year one on this side. And uh, the actual space is, is more like a big horseshoe space. So as the, we wander through, we'll see that there are uh, a variety of workstations that the children operate from. See the way that teachers are interacting with the, uh, the students. Some are you know, providing some direct instruction you know, some, like uh, Leonie's over here, is working with um, particular individual students. The cohort framework enables us to reach you know, each of the children across the grade and collectively uh, take responsibility for it. So it's not just the one teacher and the one group of kids making some decisions, it's really about the whole cohort collectively uh, planning and organising, uh, looking at the student data, uh, analysing you know, the um, results of you know, the tests. The way we deliver the curriculum has changed, so the what is always um, you know, similar, but the how is something that we've really been focusing on. Pedagogy is about is the how in terms of teaching. It looks at, well, if you're, if you're teaching something and it's not having an effect on students' learning, then why are we doing it? One of the things that um, was really important for us was to look at uh, the role of the library in this because guided inquiry um, is a type of inquiry where the teacher librarian is, is a really important part of the planning process. We have uh, five different spaces that can be booked. So whether it is small group that are just doing their own independent research or a teacher's directing their learning through something on the internet or something that needs a group of laptops, we can provide all those spaces here in the Lark. So this is another space that you can come and an extra pair of hands in myself to accommodate those groups. In my role in particular, I work with every staff member in the school and my day changes at the drop of a hat. So for a couple of years, we as a staff were um, building our own capacity you know, to understand how children learn. And with that came, uh, of course, um, the, you know, the internet paradigm. The general trend that I find is the first thing children go to is Google, to search for something. So the skills to do that properly, I still the teachers and I still address that as part of our cohort work. What we do in terms of engaging multimodal tools for learning is ensure that what they're doing is targeted, is purposeful, is relevant and is exciting. And if they're using the screen for, as, as a learning tool, we ensure that they have a scaffold where they are writing and recording and responding and then have to take it to that next level. It was hard, we would hear about it, we would read about it, but we would say to Jake, we need to see it. And, and we did do that. We went up, I've been to Sydney twice to look at schools in Sydney that um, have a similar culture, I guess, a similar structure and um, come back and shared. But nothing is quite the same as your own school, of course, so we've made it fit to us. 
as teachers, we had to see ourselves as learners and we had to do our own inquiry. And I guess, um, you know, there was a shift in culture of losing um, some control over, over the children's learning and let them um, be, you know, uh, participate more fully in their own learning. That what we're asking the kids to do in here is exactly what we've been asked to do ourselves and it's not instead of just sitting and working by yourself and getting your work done but actually collaborate and consult with other people and work together which in the end I, I do think is much more rewarding. You know, the world today is, is much more um, uh, conducive, I suppose, to, to interaction. And with that does come some, some downsides, but you work with them, you manage with them. We're a people institution and we all have our, our ups and downs, but the whole focus is about the kids. The difficulty, of course, is that, um, you know, I suppose this is where the whole disruptive innovation comes into play. You know, if you really want something to change, you know, they say that um, we well, just do a little bit at a time, you know, it'd be okay, but the reality or the practicality of just doing a little bit at a time doesn't sort of work. So in order to, to really get um, substantive um, change happening, it needs to be, you know, whole scale, like kindergarten through year six, and it needs to be fairly quick. Teacher practice has to change, and it is hard, but it's really worthwhile. Our job isn't about us as teachers, it's about the students, and it's about the way they learn and how they learn having conversations with students around the world as part of their everyday practice. It's what the children bring to the table. In 10 years time there will be a new generation of children coming to the school. What will it be that they need? Well I'm not too sure but we have to be adaptable. Teachers have to be really adaptable. Yeah it would be a very exciting place to be so we'll see what happens. I am nervous though. <laughs> I'll have to change again. And I think that uh, the kids today are growing up are, are very fortunate and I think they're very lucky and, uh, and it's an exciting time to be involved with education with all the things happening around us um, and I think that uh, you know, if the children in our school, you know, learning the way they are at the moment and being engaged uh, are going to be the um, beneficiaries of, of tomorrow, I think we're in good hands.